In this video, we'll see how to use HEANET's media hosting service. This allows you to upload video files and share them uh, via your VLE or directly with students. In addition, students can use this service. In all cases, you go to media.heanet.ie and log in using your username and password as per the college network. It recognizes that I'm here in Carlo and I'm just simply using, again, my username and password as per the college network. When I've logged in, it'll show me all of the videos that I've uploaded already. In your case, it may be none if you've not used the service before. And you simply go up to Upload Media. You choose the file, the video file that you want to upload, usually an MP4 file. You may have to search for it on your uh, network or your computer. Once you have it selected, click on Open and it will upload the video file. It will then appear in My Media. Click on My Media and we can see that it's still setting the video file up. So it's not ready yet for a few minutes to uh, use, but we can go in and we can edit how it's set up. On t when the video has been encoded, when it's ready to share, you'll be able to see the video file here. Clicking on Edit allows you to change the title. So here I'm just going to copy the entire title of the video file in here, but I'm just going to simplify the title here to just inserting free images into PowerPoint. I'm going to add a copyright. Usually I say CC by, CC by Damien Raftery using a Creative Commons. And in this case, I'm going to also add tags. These are useful if you've lots of videos to search for videos that are specific to a particular topic or module. So I'm going to put in PowerPoint here and images and save this information. You'll notice that there's a number of other buttons here. Access control allows us to restrict the viewing. At the moment, if anyone has the link, they can watch the video, but you could restrict it to only those who are logging in with an IT Carlo address. We can also restrict sharing. By default, it's public, which means that when somebody's watching the video, they can have an embed code or a link. But if you wish to, for example, embed in Blackboard the VLE, the video file, and you don't want students to be able to send it around outside, then restricting to owner only would allow, would, would when we go back here, would mean that students uh, wouldn't be able to share the video directly. So I'm going to leave it as public. And I'm also then going to go under the share button here. The share gives us a number of different options. We can pick up the embed code. So this can be copied and pasted just like a YouTube embed code and insert it into the VLE using the HTML button. We can get a public link to the video. So if you want to share your students uh, with your students the video file, or if you're a student and you want to share with your lecture or your video, then just simply copy this. And we also have a download link. If you share this link with anyone, it gives them the option to download the video file. Uh, so it's a good way for students to share a video with a lecture. If we go back here to my media, we'll see if the video has been encoded. Not yet, so I'll just pause this for a moment. So refreshing a few moments later, have the video has been uploaded. So going back in, we can play the video. So we can see the video file here and we can preview how it's shared as well. So you have a direct link and you have the embed code and an ability to share to Facebook and Twitter. If you allow, again, we'll scroll down here. That's assuming under access control, you have restrict sharing to public. If we turn that off to owner only, like this, when we play the video, that share button will not be available.